Okay, so today is a good day. Um, I'm gonna get this perfect tuning gauge um, installed. Um, it has like this. I would suggest this cover. Um, it screws on. My own argument. But it'd be cooler if it was like a slide on. But still fucking sweet. So what we got is this guy. It's like nice machined. Um, like it's machined. Um, it has real carbon fiber backing on it. Um, there's two like little buttons inside there. Um, and then the cover which screws off. Um, just basically to keep dust off. So really it's not a big deal. It's just, yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, and then it comes with some nice wiring. That's pretty nice. Uh, well, it is nice. Um, and then uh, the thing to adhere it to the back of the gauge. Um, and then some instructions. I think, I don't remember if anything else came with it. Uh, it's been a while since I unboxed it. But uh, yeah, so now we're going to hide it in. Probably going to just mount it right away in the thing and then we'll go from there. So one of the nice things is, this is that cover I'm talking about. You just spin it off, comes right off. And then this just pretty much protects the screen and all that stuff from dust getting down in there. And you got two buttons here, um, you use them for setting up. And then you also have this guy, which is like a light sensitivity thing. And so basically when there's sun, it's gonna sense that and then it'll dim your, or it'll brighten your shit. So that's pretty freaking cool. So yeah, the only thing that can be kind of troublesome, at least I've had issues with, is getting this back on. It seems like it's pretty hard to line up. Once you get it on there, it's on there. But, yeah. So there's that. Now let's uh, start the wiring. All right, so pretty much just gonna have to plug this guy in. And then you gotta route it however the hell I'm gonna want to route it. So I plan to run it along this thing that I had made. All right, so I'm using this on micro squirt. Um, he has it for, there's a couple gauges for different stuff. You can actually even use this on a uh, stock ECM, I guess. Um, I don't know how, but you can. He has one on there. Um, but yeah, so we got a series of 10 wires here. Um, for micro squirt, you need to run, uh, you're going to need your uh, can L and what is this one? Uh, can A? Or can B? Can B and... I think that's a B. Hard to read on that one. Or H? Yeah. Can H or something like that. Um, yeah, can H. It says right there. Duh, stupid me. So yeah, so you need your can H and your uh, can L off of your micro squirt. Run it up to here. Um, so then we're also going to need 12 volts um, with a 3 amp fuse. Um, I'm going to be tying into uh, off of my other gauges and then I'll bring that fuse down to 3 amps, should be good. Um, and then a vehicle ground, I'll end up putting a eye connector on here and put it with this uh, little group of grounds. Um, and then that should be it. And that should be about it. Um, and then if you you can also run up to three other uh, things. I plan to run uh, oil pressure eventually. Just need to save up to buy the sender. I have a gauge with one already, but I, I like this idea because then it'll all be in one. That'll be sweet. So that's kind of my game plan. Um, but yeah. Um, and it says here, so the package, so it came with uh, the gauge itself, uh, and a, it comes with a five foot cable, so that's pretty nice if you really need to reach some places. Um, and then the mounting bracket with the screws, so that's what it comes with, and then obviously directions. 
Um, and then, so I guess we'll get into that. But you can set up your gauge through your phone. Well, you got my phone, but you use your phone and it basically emits Wi Fi. You have to turn on the Wi Fi on the gauge. We'll get into that once I get it going. Um, but yeah, first things first, let's get this thing wired. All right, so as you just seen, got it all wired up. So basically, we got our ground, and then we have our can L, can H, and then we also have 12 volts power. That's done. That's all it takes. So, yep. So the red wire was the 12 volts, and then brown was the can H, purple can L, and then what was the other one? Oh yeah, then black vehicle ground. So yeah, that's pretty freaking sweet. And then if you're colorblind, you have up here the pin, so that way you can tell which one's which. So that's pretty nice too. Um, but yeah, so now we get into uh, seeing how it works. All right, so we're kind of gonna learn right now because I I don't know what I, I have never done this before. So there it is. So right now, gotta open up last project because we need to change up our can parameters. So you gotta go up here, can, dash broadcasting, turn this to on, leave it on automatic, burn it, you're good to go. Um, and then if you don't have CAN parameters already on, then you'll need to enable the master enable. Um, I think mine's already on because we were using it for the boost controller. But uh, yeah, that should be it. So then you got all these other functions on here as to what you want to run. So coolant, intake air temp, and then the map. Um, and then you got exhaust gas temp, but I don't have that hooked up. Um, not sure what these two are reading. Um, yeah. RPM, coolant, IET. So these are all different formats that you can choose from. And you know, so it's basically whatever you want to set them to. So you got, this will actually be a graph, so that's pretty neat. And your settings. So I think the one that I liked the best was this guy. And then so if you want to change anything in the gauge here, let's see I can get you guys down a little bit better. So if you want to change anything in here, you just gotta press and hold, and then you can just select which one you want. So say you want to change your AFR here, just press this one until you select it, and then hold on, I lied. And then you gotta double tap, like push both of them at the same time, and then that'll allow you to select. And then you go through, figure out what you want. So one, this one will go up, this one will go down. So obviously I like that one as AFR, so we'll do that. And then you push both at the same time, and then it's set. So then, yeah, and that'll work through all of these other ones that you have. It'll work the same way. So that's pretty uh, neat. This one's even got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different things on there. I don't have the gear stuff, but I'm sure you can get that. But yeah, that's kind of where it is. Um, unfortunately, the car's not running right now, so we can't really look at anything like crazy, like the RPM, seeing how you know accurate it is and all that stuff, um, or like you know quick. Um, so basically, like when you accelerate, this thing's gonna go up. And then same thing with these. These will be floating around. IET will go up. Coolant will too. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. So there's that part. And then you can also do setting up through your phone using Wi-Fi. Um, I'm going to figure out a different way to show you guys that. But yeah, that's basically the gist, guys. Now we have this. 
Um, and then I'm gonna, I'll put a link in the description to this gauge because this gauge is freaking sweet. I paid for it. Um, it's not like a paid advertisement or nothing. Um, I, I personally really think this product is freaking sick. And like, I've never seen it before up until it popped up in, I saw it on Facebook. So it was 250 bucks, which is a deal for everything that this thing can do. This thing can do so much crap. Here, I'll even, we'll go in there. You got RPM, intake air temp. Oh, we're going the wrong way already. Intake air temp, coolant, AFR. You got multiple AFRs. Um, I'm not sure what that one is. AFR correction, AFR air, map, map and PSI, ignition advance, battery voltage, TPS, knock, uh, borrow or barrel, whatever the fuck. Uh, boost duty, traction control, fuel flow, fuel economy, uh, your your speed, your vehicle speed. If you're hooked up to VSS through that, I'm not. Unfortunately, that really I don't. But I'm gonna be using a GPS. So, uh, what gear you're in, your ethanol. Um, I do know it says on there that you need to do some other stuff if you want to use it for your eth eth ethanol uh, consistency or whatever. Uh, your fuel temp sensors for days, because um, you'd set up custom sensors. Exhaust gas temp for days. Um, I'm not sure what the SD status is. Um, and then here's your inputs. Those three inputs for the ones that you want to put in. Um, yeah. That's the pretty good gist of the, the gauge here. Um, but yeah, pretty freaking sweet. Definitely get yourself one of these. It works freaking awesome. Um, and I haven't even used it. I'm pumped for this thing. This thing's freaking sweet. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.